As most people know, subject only to God, my family is the centre of my life, and at the very centre of our family is Jen. I cannot imagine life without her. I love you, Jen, and always will. That is the cross you have to bear. <laughs> Your love has been my stay and strength. You are the other half of our joined soul, who by the grace of God brought Abby and Lily our miracle girls into our lives who we celebrate and love. I thank Abby and Lily for their own sacrifices as they've grown, necessitated by having a father in public life. They are beautiful girls in every way, as you can see, and I could not be more proud of them as a father. They are our joy and our delight, and I'm so pleased that we can now have the time that was necessarily denied us for so long. In preparing for this day, Abby and Lily suggested that I should play a type of Taylor Swift bingo. <laughs> and I'm wearing the bracelet, by the way. <laughs> it has ScoMo on it. <laughs> and they said, by trying to work the names of every single Taylor Swift album into uh, my remarks, well, what's a dad to do? <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> It is true that my political opponents have often made me see red. Often when subjected to the tortured poets who would rise to attack my reputation. In response, I always thought it important to be fearless and speak now. Or forever hold my silence and allow those attacks to become folklore. Ever since leaving university in 1989, <laughs> <laughs> this has always been my approach. My great consolation has always been my lover, <laughs> Jen, who has always been there for me whenever I need her from dawn and beyond the many midnights we have shared together. See, I'm actually a true new romantic, after all. And I can assure you there is no bad blood, as I've always been someone who's been able to shake it off. <laughs> anything for my daughters. I also want to thank, of course, Jen's mum, Beth, who's looking after the cat and the dog today, and Jen's late father, Roy, an amazing human being. For always being on my side, as well as Jen's siblings, Gary and Cecily, and all their families. Finally, I thank my mum, Marion, who's here. Uh, who was here with my late father today, John. Together, also, I want to thank my brother, Alan, of whom I'm extremely proud. My family, growing up, were the dominant example for my life. They taught me that life is about what you contribute, not what you accumulate. They taught me about the duty and dignity of public service. But beyond this, I would never have known God and my Saviour, Jesus Christ, if it was not for them. I can think of no greater gift. Okay, that's the emotional stuff done. <laughs>